Hello and welcome to Bobbin Talk. In this video, I will show you how to work with color switch. That will help you edit individual colors within prints and graphics. For example, I have this graphic here that I will apply onto my sweatshirt. In order to do that, I will come in the 2D window or in the 3D window, come to the graphic pattern 2D or 3D. Here, I will do it in my 2D window. So I'm gonna left click once on that to select what kind of a graphic. Mine happens to be right here. I'm gonna choose the one that is the PNG because it has transparent background. So I'm gonna click open and I will now have this graphic in my hand and I will position it kind of in the middle of the t-shirt or a sweatshirt. So here I have a pop-up window which is asking me what is the width and the height. I am happy with this width and height and I know that I can also edit this later. So I'm gonna click OK and that will now place it on top of my sweatshirt. I have the wheel here that pops up immediately and I could grab that wheel and either make this bigger or smaller or I could also rotate it. I know I can rotate when I have these two arrows that are kind of circling around. So I will edit this until I'm completely happy with the placement and the scale. And now I am ready to actually play with the colors of this graphic. So in order to do that, we will come to the object browser, make sure that object browser is open. And if you happen to be in the fabric tab here, make sure that you come under the graphic tab. That's the one right here. It looks like a little square with the checks on it. Left click once and you should see your graphic. I happen to have quite a few different graphics on this particular outfit. So I can see that the one that's selected that has the check here is this one at the very bottom. So I'm just gonna shift it so move it all the way up here so it sits on top and now I'm ready to work with the colors. In order to do that, make sure that you have selected the graphic that you want and that your property editor is open. Scroll down until you see the texture clearly here in the window and move your mouse all the way to the right side. I am hovering over Open Texture Editor. That is this little icon here with the brush on it. Left click once on the texture editor to get that texture editor window open. You can now see your graphic clearly in the texture editor and you have on the left side your graphic. Left click once on that to have all of the options here populate on the right side of the window. And now in order to work with this and change colors, all I have to do here is see this little color switch area here. Come to the check and make sure that you left click once so it says on. Now we have this new area open up, which says number. So this is simply asking you how many colors do you want to switch colors on? You could work with just some of the colors, all of the colors. I have a red, pink, orange, yellow, lavender, and this dark purple. So I could work with five or six colors. I'm just going to type five here. And you see that here now I have all of the sub colors pop up and it's color coding them. So you can see that I have purple, I have orange, I have blue, I have pink, I have yellow. You could do less colors if you want to work with only some of the colors here. So from here on, it's very easy and probably the most fun part. So I'm going to start with, let's say, this yellow color. Maybe I'm not happy with this yellow outline. Maybe I want something darker. So I'm going to come down here to my sub colors and I'm going to left click once on the yellow because that is the one I want to switch. Left click once and you immediately get the pop up color here. So I'm going to move this pop up window to the left here so we can see a little bit better. Now, I don't want a light color. I want to switch this to something darker that I can see more prominently. So you could choose any color either here from the global colors. If you have your own custom palette, that's fine too. 
I am simply just gonna come here to this very dark purple color. It's a violet number three, and I'm gonna left click once on that. And you can immediately see that it populated in the texture editor. So let me give you a couple of other options so you can see this better. Let's go for a lighter, more of a magenta color. So watch here in the texture editor. I'm gonna left click once on the magenta and you can see that immediately changed everything here. I'm not happy with that color. Let's try the red. That looks pretty good. What if this was blue? I'm gonna click on dark blue. What if it's more of a green color? So that's very close to my yellow actually. Teal color would be a little bit better. So you can keep playing here with the color palette that you have or kind of designate various colors until you see what exactly are you happy with. You will also notice that the changes are happening here in the texture editor but they're not happening in the 3D window. That is because we haven't applied the changes to anything else yet. We're simply selecting and choosing what colors are we editing here? What colors could we like here? But we haven't saved and applied this yet. So I am happy either with this one or the darker red. I think this one works really well. So I'm gonna click OK. So now I have selected the color, but this hasn't been applied to the sweatshirt yet. So for that, I'm going to click apply. And this now change here in the 3D window. If you missed it, I'm going to go back a step. So I'm going to delete that or hit command Z. So now watch the 3D window. I'm going to click apply and this colorway of the graphic is going to appear here. So watch the 3D window. I'm clicking apply. And you can see that this changed. If I am happy with that, I can hit apply on close. Don't click cancel because that will cancel everything that you did so far. So I'm going to click apply and close. And I am now ready with changing one of the colors for my graphic. If you want to change and play with more colors of the graphic, come back to the texture editor, open it again. Make sure that you select your graphic and I already have the sub colors that I want to switch. So I'm going to come, let's say to my pink color and I can sub that with something else and I can see it changing here. If you missed it, I'll go back for a second. So I'm going to click cancel and again, I'm going to select the pink color watch the texture editor window i am going to swap this pink color with a yellow color and you can see that everything here is now yellow play around until you're happy with that i'm going to click ok and again this hasn't applied to the actual 3d window until i click apply you could click apply and close if you're completely ready and finished with this if you still want to inspect what you have on the garment and continue to edit just click apply watch the change here see if you're happy and then continue to play with that if you've learned something new if you're happy with what you're seeing here please consider hitting the like button subscribing to my channel there's a lot more new content coming up I am also expanding the type of content I'll be offering and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video thank you for watching